Hey, everybody. Good to see you all. Thank you so much for uh, joining us. I'm Sharice Davids. Uh, I know uh, Secretary Deb Holland already talked. I'm the other one um, who got elected alongside her in 2018 and a bunch of amazing people. So I'm Ho-Chunk from Wisconsin, but uh, I represent a district in Kansas because my mom was in the Army for 20 years. Uh, and I'm I'm just I'm super excited to be here tonight with all of you, especially among this amazing group of Native and Two Spirit folks who are um, making tons of change in their own way. Thank you all for everything you're doing. Uh, to uh, I'm not as good as Deb at this, so I'm not going to name any names. Um, but uh, I appreciate everybody who is presenting tonight or. Uh, speaking up, and then also all of you, the thousands of people who have joined us tonight for this incredibly important moment and uh, getting the chance to lift up Native voices all across the country. This is certainly a crucial time in our country's history. Uh, this upcoming election is, is not just about electing a new president, but uh, let's be clear, uh, we will elect Kamala Harris as our president. Um, and at the same time, we're going to be defeating extremism. We're going to be protecting our rights. We're going to be preserving our democracy. Donald Trump, you already heard this from uh, uh, from Deb, but Donald Trump and his allies represent truly a, a, a direct threat to the values that uh, that we hold dear. Things like equality, like justice, like respect for everyone. Uh, this election is is about so many things, the Supreme Court, the decisions that shape the lives of every single one of us for generations. You know, we have I I'm y'all probably already know this, but I have to I have to talk about how the Supreme Court has gutted reproductive rights, has stripped away uh, people's ability to make crucial decisions for themselves and their about their own bodies without uh interference from uh we know that those should be decisions that people can make on their own without interference from politicians um and i say that as someone who spends a bunch of time around politicians people should be able to make their own decisions we have spent generations we're all here because generations of people have fought so hard to secure the protections that we have had in place for so long and I, I know all of you are on here because we we cannot go any further backwards than what we have seen. This election is about our health care. It's about our environment. It's about our children's futures for generations to come. And, and if Donald Trump, I don't, I, I don't even want to say it. I don't want to say it, but I'm going to. If Donald Trump was elected again, he's going to continue to try to break down every single institution. He's going to try to gut the Affordable Care Act. He's going to try to attack Social Security and Medicare. All of these things that would hurt working families and and give like ultra wealthy people. I'm not going to name name. I'm not going to name names, but uh, Elon Musk. We know we know who we're talking about here. These guys are looking for tax breaks and we need people who are going to fight against that people who are going to work hard to understand our struggles who are committed to building a better future and i know through all the work that the folks on this call tonight are doing uh a president harris would absolutely be better positioned to understand the challenges of indian country who uh uh have been raising our voices we have been trying to make sure that uh, the federal government understands our needs. And I know she will absolutely continue to, to work hard on behalf of Native communities, just like the current president has, legitimately elected current president, I will also mention. Um, so us coming together to do everything we can to defeat Donald Trump and this extreme agenda that we're seeing, whether we're talking about voting or organizing, um, doing everything we can to make our voices heard is so important. And then we also get the chance through this to hold our leaders accountable. Our decision makers have to be accountable. We have to be able to uh, make our voices heard so that policies that are really important to Native communities and, and frankly, to the everybody in this country um, are, are even a reality for us. So 
I know that Native folks have been the the forefront of so much social change over the entirety of this country's history. Our resilience, our strength, our wisdom has guided communities through some of the toughest times our country has ever faced. And we're ready to continue to do that. I know we are. So I hope everyone on here is, uh, is ready to continue the work. I'm not going to say get to work because I know you guys have been working hard. But thank you so much for everything you guys are doing. I know it's up to all of us to ensure that our voices are heard in, in November and, and that our votes are counted uh, and that our values and everything we know is possible with this country actually comes to fruition. So thank you all so much. Thank you for inviting me to join you all tonight. I'm so excited to continue working with all of you and uh, go ahead and hit that. I don't know. I don't know where I'm at on this thing, but hit the uh, hit the donate button. Let's uh, let's make sure that we can win this thing in November. Thank you all so much.